showing you the YA Take and Make for this week, the DIY playing card journal. Um, so I, part of your kit is going to have a deck of cards, some pieces of paper, a needle, and some thread. Um, and we are going to be using those very simple tools to make a journal. So you're also going to need a ruler, a pair of scissors, and um, a Sharpie or a pen. I'm using Sharpie because it wipes off of the playing cards very easily. But um, if you don't, if you have a pencil or a pen, that works too. So, okay, we're gonna set the things that we need aside. And first, before we do anything, we're gonna pick what our cover is gonna be. I have already gone through the playing cards and decided which cards I am going to use for the front and back cover of my journal. But you can pick, you're gonna have a whole deck of cards to pick from, and you're only gonna need two. So you can pick whichever ones you want. Um, I am going to be using the Ace of Spades and the Queen of Hearts. So these are my front and back covers. Um, now I'm going to show you how to make the pages. Um, so we are going to be making what is called a signature, which is the middle of the book. So all of the pages in a book, if you look at it, um, if you pull a book off the shelf right now and look at them, are set up into small sections. Um, where usually between 8 and 16 pages and those sections are called signatures and that's what we're going to make. So we're going to start with a piece of paper. I have a whole stack so I'm going to set the other ones aside. Um, so you usually to make the signatures you start with a larger piece of paper and you fold it together so that it makes a little booklet. That is what we're going to do. So to start you're going to fold it in half lengthwise and you're gonna make a nice good crease um, to make it sure that our creases are very tight, which is necessary for the signatures. We're going to use the back handle of our scissors and just rub that against the fold as tightly as you can. It'll give you a nice crisp edge. So we're gonna turn the paper 90 degrees and fold it in half lengthwise again. And then we're going to smooth that edge down again with our scissors. If you have what is called a bone folder, it's a little smooth stick, um, sometimes made of bone, sometimes made of plastic, you can use that instead. That's what real book binders use to smooth their edges. So we're going to turn it 90 degrees again and fold it a third time. And if it's a little bit hard to fold it, it might be going against the grain. So if you switch it over, it might be a little bit easier. Fold. Fold where it's easy. Okay, so I'm going to smooth it down one more time. Um, so this paper is not thin enough to fold it again and have it be easy to work with. So we're going to just go with the um, eight page signature. So as you can see, it now is a little booklet. The little booklet is attached at the top and on one of the edges but that's okay. We are going to fix that in our next step. But for now, I'm going to do this with nine more pieces of paper for a total of 10 signatures, so 80 pages. If you want your notebook to be thicker and have more pages, then you'll make more of these. If you want it to be thinner, you'll make less. Um, but each one will add a number of eight to your page count, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna go do that off camera and then I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So I have already started the process of trimming things down, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do that next. Um, because obviously the card is quite a bit smaller than our signatures, but if we'd cut them, if we'd folded them in half again, it would be a little bit too small for the card. Um, and it'd look a little weird. And also it would just be a little bit too thick. So uh, what we're going to do to make this look like it's supposed to be together is we are going to trim our signatures down. This will also help us to make sure everything is uniform and straight and also to cut off those edges that are still connected. So what we're going to start with, so how you're going to do that is you're going to take your playing card, you're going to put it a little bit offset of your folded edge just so it will have a little bit of room or so it'll be a little bit 
smaller than your playing card when you cut that edge off. We're going to take a marker and lightly trace around the card. Now I'm using marker because then that can easily be wiped off with some rubbing alcohol um, if I don't want it to be there but a pencil also works. So now I have my border. I'm going to cut inside that border. So. And for the outer edges, or for the top and the bottom, it's okay if you cut a little bit more than inside the border because you want it to be a little bit shorter than the playing card. That is the first one trimmed, and as you can see, it fits nicely inside the card. I'll flip it over so you can see with the contrast. So then when the covers are on there, um, they will be a little bit bigger than our notebook, and it'll look clean and look like a real book. So I'm going to do the same with the others. Um, I already started the process, but I'm going to finish them off, and then I will show you how to make the holes and start the lacing process. Okay, so I have my um, signatures all trimmed up so they're all the same size. Um, you want them to be uniform so that when they stack together, they look nice and even. Um, if this was a book bindery, they have a giant machine that chops it right on the edge so it's all smooth but um, you want to make sure that they are as smooth as possible if there's a little bit of overlap that's okay this is not a professional book it's one that you made so it's gonna have imperfections and that's good so to make the holes um, I've already put the holes in a couple of them but to make the holes for the sewing we are going to first need to make a measuring part. So I'm going to take an extra card that I'm not using and on the white side so I can see it I'm going to make my marks. So the card is a little bit taller than three and or a little bit less than three and a half inches. So we are going to make our marks. So we're going to try to center Three and a half and then we're gonna make marks at the half inch and the three inch and then we're gonna make marks three quarters of an inch in so at the two and a quarter mark and at the one and a half nope that's not right the one and a quarter mark we will ignore that one um, even librarians make mistakes that's okay okay so I'm gonna mark that move that away because I don't need it anymore so now I have my marks and I'm going to take I'm gonna let them dry a little bit so it doesn't get on the paper and then I'm going to open the signatures to the middle so all four pieces of paper are centered here I'm going to align the card so it's evenly spaced on the edge. You can see the marks. Then I'm going to take my needle. You have your needle. And I'm going to poke through all four. I'm going to gently poke it so that there's a mark. I know I'm going to first. Then I'm going to take my piece of paper away and I'm going to stick my needle into a hole and then fold it over so I know I'm getting through all four holes and stab it through. I'm going to do the same thing with the next one. So I'm putting through the hole and then pushing all the way through so I make a nice deep hole. Then I'm going to take my needle point at the next hole or the next mark and push it and the next mark push it through. So now I have four marks on my paper that I can use to sole my hole. So my 
pieces of signature together. So you'll just do this. I'm going to show you how to do it again to make it easier, and then I will do the rest of them off camera. So I'm going to make my holes or my marks first, pressing a little lightly but not too hard because it's kind of hard to hold the card and poke all the way through the paper. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to put our hole, our needle into the first mark and push all the way through. Our second mark push all the way through, our third mark, push all the way through, we might need like a thimble or something hard to help you push the needle through if you don't have a lot of strength in your hands, um, or you might need assistance from someone else. So now I have my four holes, one, two, three, four. And I'm going to finish putting the holes in these off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so now I have put holes in all of my signatures and I'm a little too close. Um, hopefully you can see, oh, it's bright. There we go. So you can see that they all, all the holes line up and now we are going to sew them all together. We are also going to be sewing holes into our cards. So we're going to be putting the exact same holes into our cards, but we're going to be doing them a little bit thicker or a little bit further into the signature. So I have a queen card, so I'm going to align my holes onto the edge of the queen picture. Um, but if you want to do yours a little bit deeper in or that's fine, I wouldn't go any closer to the edge than about right here, about a centimeter in, because otherwise it might, the cards might be too thin and they might rip off if they are handled too roughly. So I'm going to align that there and then I'm going to take my trusty needle, my trusty very sharp needle, and I'm going to poke holes through both the front and the back. Again, because these cards are pretty slippery, you might need to realign after every hole. That's okay. I am holding these cards very tightly so they don't slip slide everywhere. Okay. So I have my holes on my front and my back card. So the queen is going to be the front card and the ace is going to be the back card. And then the signatures are going to go in there to make a full notebook. So we're going to start with the first one and the first signature. And we're going to take our thread. And you're going to get a length about like this. Um, I'm going to cut mine. Actually, I don't need to cut this. Um, so I'm going to thread my needle with my thread and I'm going to I normally don't do this but for this I'm going to so tie a little knot here just to make it a little bit easier so we, the thread does not fall off of the needle um, again I normally don't do that when I'm sewing but for this I think it'll make it a little bit easier so we are going to start inside our signature. I'm going to move everything else out of the way. I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to pull it through. Now, if the thread gets a little bit unwieldy for you, it's okay to trim it and then use it again or use about half of it. That's fine. Um, so to start off, we're going to hold the end here. We're not going to tie a knot in it, but we are going to secure it after our next step. So I'm going to take my cover. I want the face part facing up, so I'm going to go into the back of the card. And again, this can get a little bit tangly. If it's too long, I might end up trimming this because it might have been a little bit too long. It might get annoying. So we're still holding that there, and we're going to Our 
card. And I'm going to close that up just to make it a little bit easier. And then I'm going to, I have my new string. I'm going to thread it through here and it should go through all, if you're holding this tightly, it'll go through all four pages and come out here. So we're gonna tug it again. I'm gonna hold the end string just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere while I tug. And yeah, we're probably gonna trim this because it's too unwieldy. embroidery thread can very easily get tangled and then be super annoying. Okay. So, we have that the way we want it. Now we are going to tie our knot. Love embroidery thread but the fact that it is not very well applied makes it extremely annoying to work with all right we are trimming this up this is nonsense so that's gonna happen that's okay um, we just discard it move on. so lesson learned that was too long a string we are going to I'm going to back and we're gonna try that again so we are, we have our thread a little bit shorter this time and we're going to go through that same hole, that same first hole again, tug it until it's about an inch and then we're going to, this time we're going to go through the front because I think that might be a little bit easier to control. Doesn't matter how short your string is, it's still going to get tangled. And. So I put it through the front, and now we are going through the original hole again. Okay. Looks like I managed to tangle it. Okay. So now I'm going to make sure I don't get the strings tangled and tie a knot. Now it's secured and we are going to move on to the next hole. So we're going to go to the second hole and go through it. So the string stays on the outside. And then we're going to go through the front cover and into that hole again. and tight. Seems to be loosey-goosey and I don't know why. Right. Tug it nice and tight as you can. You want it to be good and tight. Oh, not so tight that you cut the hole. You put a hole in it, so we're going to do that again. Okay. Don't pull it that tight because I don't know if you can see, but we accidentally ripped it a little bit. Not so tight that you're going to rip it, but tight enough to keep it taut. So now we're going to go through the third hole and in through the front of the third hole of the cover and back into the third hole of the signature. Make sure we don't get tangled. Gonna Close together so I can make it nice and tight. Again, not so tight that it falls apart, but tight enough so that it stays where it's supposed to stay. Okay, success. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through the center of the final hole of this signature and the final hole of the cover and then we're going to go back around to the signature again okay so 
there we go. Right here. So now it's ready. We have our first signature attached to our cover. And now we're going to add a section or a signature to our piece by, so to do that, we obviously need to go back on the outside because we can't attach it on the inside. So we are going to go through underneath the thread that we had before. So it snags a little bit like that and kind of it doesn't create a knot but creates a knot like structure. And then we're going to go back through that hole. Like that. Okay, so then it's out, it's still attached, and it's out. And now we're going to add our next one. We're going to make sure we align our holes correctly. And then we're going to go through that second hole. Okay, now it's going to be a little bit easier. So we're going to go. here and then we're going to go underneath the first set of connectors for the first signature make sure we don't get tangled pull through and then go back through that second hole again nope oh, don't stab yourself and pull tight. So now I am in the second hole is attached snugly. So now we are going to go through the third hole, pull it all the way through, and then stick our needle under the first connector for that third hole. Give it a little tug so it's nice, so it's caught and it's not going anywhere. And then put it back through the third hole of your second signature. So now, looks like that. We're gonna go left through that last hole and do the same thing. We're gonna snag it through the last connector, pull it tight, and then. We're going to go through it one more time to make sure it stays connected. And then go underneath that string, pull it through so it kind of knots it in place, and then go back through that hole a third time. Okay, so now I have two signatures. Two sets of pages. So now our booklet is 16 pages and I'm going to just keep adding signatures. I'm going to do another one just to show you how to do it so we are we know how to do it um, confidently. We're confident in our skills and then I'm going to do the rest of them off camera. So one last signature added on camera and then the rest will be off. So we are going to we have our third section our signature we're going to line it up with the other two and then we are going to thread our needle through the first hole and making sure that we get through all four pieces of paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice and tight. And then we are going to go through the second hole. And through the connector between the first and second signature. Try not to get, there we go. Keep getting stuck. Your thread is going to be a little bit annoying, it's fine. Okay. And go through that hole again 
and nope, that's not through all the papers. So we're going to try that again. Why is this not going through all of our... There we go. Definitely double and triple and quadruple check that you are going through all four pieces of paper or your notebook will not stay together. So we're gonna go through our third hole. Pull it all the way through, pull it nice and tight. And that needle, my needle might be a little bit too long through and all the way through again so now we are going through the fourth hole and through that last signature connector through the hole one last time not one last time our second time and then we are connecting, we're going underneath that section, pulling through, pulling as tight as we can without ripping the paper, Oop, dropping our needle, <laughs> and then going through again. Okay, so I'm going to attach the other seven off screen, doing the exact same thing. Um, actually, I'm gonna do six, and then I'll show you how to attach the back cover, okay? So I have nine of my sections, signatures, um, sewn all together. They are their own book um, and they're not going anywhere, which is great. So we are going to attach our last signature and the back cover. So to do that, we're just going to do our nor the way we've been doing it. We're going to go through the first top hole making sure that we are going through all four pages. For some reason that has not been going well for me for the last two signatures. Um, if you were having troubles, you're not alone. Okay. Sometimes you gotta remake that hole because it looks like it's not all the way through. Okay. Really, why does that not want to work? Okay. There, we are going to go through there. Okay, so now I'm going to go beneath between the signature, and I have been I don't know if this will be helpful to you, but because they are so tightly put. Um, and a lot of book binders use a circular needle, but we don't have those. So I have been putting it through here and then just putting it through like that instead of trying to wiggle the needle through. So now we are going to attach the start of the card like that and go straight through the hole. Didn't make it through all the pages. My goodness, this is a challenge. I like how the last one is the one that's gonna challenge me. How it always goes, right? Okay, so um, because we attached the middle one instead of attaching the front one, we're gonna go back through our first hole just to get that first part of the cover done. Um, we're going to go through the signature hole again. And this will um, serve as extra tightness for the front signature, which does. I have a little knot on my little piece of thing that keeps getting caught. So apologies while I fix that. I could not get the knot out. Okay. See that little knot? Bane of my existence. All right. So we're going to put this through the hole in the cover and then put it through that hole again and hopefully it went through all four. It did. Okay, cool. 
So now we are going to, because we had, I'm going to just do this because apparently something went wrong. I'm just to tighten everything up. Um, if you want to do it this way too, you can. If you also have some kind of mess happening that you can't explain. I don't know what's going on here. So I'm going to put this through here one more time just to make sure that it's um, uniform. And we'll just put this, instead of putting it through the two, we La the ninth and tenth signature. I'm just going to put it through there and then put it through all four of my pages. All right, so now we will move on to the next hole. We're going to go through that eighth and ninth signature, pull my needle through because again, I've been getting it caught on that silly frustrating knot and pull that through put it through the hole on the cover make sure we're not getting anything tangled pull it through and put it through the hole which we are so close last hole so we've got our needle through putting it through our eighth and ninth signature and we're going to put it through the cover pulling it nice and taut nice and taut and then put it right through that hole again okay so that is our book it's all connected you've got your pages if you want to, um, we're gonna. You can secure it here and be done, or if you want to, you can do some designs through the little holes um, and crisscross. Go through the holes again, make it all nice and neat. What happened here? I might have to go back and fix that. Um, or, but if you want to tie it up here, we. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna put it through our bottom hole and then make a loop. And then you're going to put your needle through that loop before you pull it all the way tight and then you're going to pull it tight so it creates a knot it's not going to go anywhere and then we are going to trim it down if you want to make it extra secure you can do a double knot um, and then we are going to flip it over to the other side and trim our other side and we are good to go um, it might help to press, it's going to be a little bit wonky, it's not going to want to stay very well, um, but if you press everything together, if you use your edge of your scissors to try to straighten things down, or if you put it under a um, heavy book, encyclopedia, a dictionary, something, or some bricks, something heavy and, and flat in your space and leave it there for about a day. Um, it should flatten out and it'll look like a nice brand new book. So I am excited to see what you all make. Um, I hope this was a helpful little craft tutorial. Um, and you can, just to remind you, you can do this with any pieces of paper. You can do this with colored paper or lined paper. Um, whatever you want and whatever kind of cover you want as long as it's a little bit stiff so we use playing cards but you could use cardboard um, you could use the covers of cereal boxes or old just box boxes painted um, or colored with marker painted with glue and paper um, you can do whatever you want this is basic book binding um, and as long as you have paper and a rougher hard, cord co hard cardboard cover you can make all kinds of books so and they don't have to be this size they can be bigger ones too so i am excited to see what you do um thank you for watching my tutorial and good luck with your craft have a good day